Hey YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your girl, I am Nubian with I am Nubian Customs, and today I'm deciding to go ahead and get this get to know me video out of the way where I will be asking myself the 50 questions. Um, if you guys have any further questions that you would like to know, you can go ahead and drop it in the comments down below or on any of my other platforms if you're following all those platforms this will be a smoke session slash have a cocktail with your girl edition so we're letting our hair all the way down on this episode y'all i love these daiquiris and i'm just like this in the look in the so yeah y'all already know I got everybody gone to some of my videos. So I'm going to try to hurry before they get back and come kill the whole fucking body. You feel me? And if my things start messing up, y'all know, I'll just pop back on there like, boop, and get it back cracked in. Okay, so I just went on Google, and I typed it in, and I found one where it seemed like it had a lot of questions. This girl, she answered some of hers, but I'm just going to answer the same question she answered. So, first question is... And for me, um... My mom told me that me and my god sister was named after some girls on this show back in the day that they used to watch or something like that. Even though the girl's name was like Jasmine. Um, my name is Jazamine because of the way it's spelled. So everybody just calls me Jazz or Jasmine or Nubian. Or also if you've been following me on other platforms, you can also go by Kayla as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what the show it was to be honest with y'all. Um, when was the last time you cried? Man, yeah, I've been going through the emotions, okay? So, the last time I cried, I want to say it was like two, three days ago. Bought my little heart out of Um, Do you like your handwriting? Um, I'm the type of person that I can mimic handwriting and I write different every time I write. So some of my handwriting is very, very beautiful and the other handwriting is like I hate when my pattern gets off track and mess up my um aesthetic of how I'm doing things. So I would say that. Um question number four. What is your favorite lunch meat? <laughs> I never got asked a question like that before. That's so fucking funny. Um my favorite lunch meat. Um, I used to get like chicken breast lunch meat or um, turkey or something. Mm -hmm. But I don't like turkey, so I don't even say that's my favorite. Um, cause I've been trying not to eat a lot of pork, so I really don't eat ham like that no more. But so I would just say, I guess chicken. Um, that roasted chicken. Thin slicer. Do you have kids? Um, no, I do not have kids at the moment. Um, the person I'm with has kids, so you know, I've been a stepmom, TT guy, mom forever, ever, 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 ever. Too many children. Um, if you are another person. Would you be friends with you? Hell yeah. Because I feel like I'm a dope ass fucking person. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest to you and I'm still going to love you. But if you start just doing a whole bunch of shit, it is going to have to have like some distance. And I'm okay with that. Like, some people can't be okay with that. Um... Do you use a <laughs> do you use sarcasm a lot? Uh, duh. And I think I skipped. Oh no, that was the next question. That was question number seven. So question number eight. Do you still have your tonsils? Yes, I never had my tonsils taken out. 
Would you bungee jump? Fuck no. <laughs> First off, I'm scared of height. Number two, there's too many chances of uh, something happening. Nigga, no. I'll probably go zip line if I go fucking bungee jumping. Let's put it like that. Um, question number 10. What is your favorite cereal? I really don't eat cereal like that. But when I do eat cereal, I like Frosted Flakes. Because <laughs> I'm old school. I like Frosted Flakes. I like um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch and the Peanut Butter Captain Crunch. And I like Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks go hard. But I really don't like cereal. Like, I don't have a taste for it. I'm like a brunch type of girl in bougie, okay. Um, number 11, do you untie your shoes when you take them off? Um, no, because most of my shoes are either pre-laced so they fit my foot or they don't have shoestrings, so. Um... Do you think you're strong? Um, fuck yeah. For many of reasons, I'm a very, very, very strong individual. But if they're talking about like the other type of strong, I feel like I'm strong that way too, but I like to be a dancer when I'm just dressing type. <laughs> um, what is your favorite ice cream? Hands down. Butter pecan and cookies and cream all day okay one day butter pecan and cookies and cream and i got a fetish for that um hog and dodge i like that um it's like cherry um cherry ch chip or something cherry white chocolate chip or something like that something about a chocolate chip and some cherries and it's pink <laughs> and uh that coffee um ice cream oh it's just so good i really don't eat ice cream like that but when i have taste for it those is like my four go-to um number 14 what is your first thing what is the first thing you notice about people I would say how they look in their demeanor, like how they like walk and stuff like that, like in their face and like try to read their energy off of their demeanor. That's the first thing I look at. So like your face. Then you walk, and then once you got on, and then so forth. Start going back down with detail. Um, red or pink? Mm. I'm more of a pink type of girl. I love my 5,500,000 shades of nude. <laughs> so I'm going to roll with the pink. And I never really get red nail polish. Just like right now, I got on pink nail polish. Pink. Um, what is the least favorite thing about yourself? The least favorite thing about myself is... Sometimes I'm too fucking picky. Like, for real. Like. And I be knowing it too, but it's just like, I can't fucking help it. And I hate that shit because, but I know I get my blessings back for it. So it just be like, whatever. But it is what it is. It's like a blessing and a curse at the same time. 
who do you miss the most right now? I'm missing my grandma like crazy, yeah. Like I don't have a lot of like a lot of deep depression in my family. My grandma was my baby, yo. Um, number 18, what is the spark feature that has helped you the most? Being observant. Knowing how to sit there and not talk and observe. That's my favorite trait <laughs> for spark for the way the fuck they had to hell on my stove. Um, what color shoes are you wearing? I'm kind of barefoot right now, but I am wearing some like black little slide on shoes to go with my dress. Um, what was the last thing you ate? Last thing I ate today was some pizza rolls. <laughs> Me and my babies had pizza rolls earlier. And a stacker. Okay. All right. Damn, I'm excited. And it was on 10 <laughs> Um. Excuse me. <laughs> number 20. What was the... Oh. We already just did that one. So number 21. What are you listening to right now? I'm not listening to nothing. All I can hear is these baby kids outside. That ain't mine. If you were a crayon, what color would you be? Turquoise, hands down, period. Ain't no questions asked. My favorite color is turquoise. Um, favorite smell. I love the smell of a good ass candle. I love the smell of my spiritual baths. Oh my god. Because I put like cinnamon and lavender and like all type of stuff in my baths and they just be smelling so good, like the beer and all. And what else do I want to smell from? I love the smell of like cookies and stuff and bake because my great great grandma she was a baker and I don't know well she was too but no my great grandma my grandma's mom she was a baker and I sit at her house she's made sweet potato pies um seven up um pound cake pies upside down pineapple cake red bell cakes pecan pies Pumpkin, sweet potatoes, all type of baked goodies. You know what I'm saying? That's all me and my cousins know growing up is stay outside for your make my cakes fall. <laughs> and the smell of the cake and shit. You know, and all that stuff getting baked. Um, who's the last person you talked to on the phone? My boyfriend, nine times out of ten. Mountain Highway or Beach House. Oh, Mountain Hideaway or Beach House. My bad, y'all. I'm a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, that don't even fucking make sense. <laughs> okay. So, Mountain Hideaway or Beach House. Um, I never went to no mountain hideaway. I don't know. 
They depend on where in the mountains. That should be scary. Yeah. Either or, I guess. I like to. Okay, no, it wasn't done. So, I had to go and I'll say it again. And yes, I'm trying to play it, though. It's so bad. Like, oh, my gosh. Okay, so, we're on question number 26. And it is favorite sports to watch. And my thing is, I really don't watch sports. I'm not a big fan of sports. I really don't care about sports. So I feel like politics is very important. Moving along. Hair color. Um, my hair is like a like a real dark sandy look. I don't know. Color. So I'll be getting like a oh, wimby when I leave. <laughs> Just a little bit like that. It's black, but it's not black. It's like a sandy color. Especially if I let my natural hair be in the sun, that should do some whole other shit in that place. So, I got time for that. Eye color, dark brown. Flower contacts, no. Let's see, see, you got these folks. Favorite food, Mexican food, and Italian food. And so. Scary movies or happy endings? I like both. I don't know, it's like both. Last movie I watched. Um, what was we watching? I think we was watching Life or something like that the other day. But yeah, like I said, I really don't be watching TV. So I think we was watching Life. Now than that, I just be watching hero and shit. Summer or winter? Summer, for show. Sure. <laughs> Cancer season approaching. Pew, pew. All right. Cancer gang, gang. Eagles. Hugs or kisses? I really ain't into all that kissing and shit, so. I rather, like, hugs, depending on who it is, because I don't like hugging everybody either. <laughs> Um, number 36, favorite dessert. I am a cake girl. Like some motherfucking, um, what's that shit called? Um, a socket to me cake. <sighs> socket to me crunch cake. Oh my god, I would tear the whole cake up, okay? The whole cake. <laughs> um, strange chaining or cardio. Um, I do like a little bit of both when I do work out because I work out in spurts or just like when I, I feel like I need to because I'm already like kind of small, but it's good to stay healthy. So, like when I quit doing like spoon cigarettes and stuff and get back to like detox and hunger, how I was. I'm probably gonna start back working out and waist training. And I do both. I do like a lot of core training. Mixed in with some cardio, a lot of stretching. Um, <laughs> let's see, computer or television. Um, we're just gonna say my phone because I still don't fucking use it. So. <laughs> Um, what book are you reading right now? Currently, I'm not reading no books. I know, that's like so, so bad. I want to get back into reading though. Um, number 40. What is your mouse pad? Um, I'm happy. Um, any tattoos? I got one little wrist tattoo. You guys probably can't see it like that. The lighting is like so horrible. But, but yeah. I want to get more of them. Um, favorite sound. Um, I like a good, like, old school R&B beat, like 90s 
gonna really be like you know the bass and like natural instruments like before like you know I know they start getting like a little computerized in the nineties don't get me wrong but it's like you know like stuff like that like a good beat with a lot of bass you know a lot of different instruments and stuff like that like you know I go to that type of stuff. Um, Rolling Stones, Herb Beatles, um, I don't have to say, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay, um, 44, ooh, what is the furthest you've been from home? Um, Jamaica and the Bahamas is the furthest I've been away from home. I don't know which one is further, but yeah. 45. Do you have a special talent? <laughs> I don't know. I just will say I'm a very talented person. I'm in competition with myself. I dance, I do hair, I draw, I sew, I make clothes, um, I'm very creative, you know what I'm saying, like, I write poetry, I write music, you know, I cook, I make good drinks, <laughs> like, I make, um, natural products, like, you know, I'm a, a, a jack of all trades, so, you know. I love to learn, so I would say that's my talent, loving to learn, and loving to get better, and teach those who want to talk. Um, 46, where were you born? I was born in Michigan. Yeah. Um, where are you living now? I am still living in Michigan, but I do not want to live here forever. I do want to move, so that's what I'm not. What color is your house? Um, <laughs> what I'm just going to say is one of them is brick and the other one is gray. Any pets? Number 50 for the Lanny. And that is a negative. I don't like animals that much. I really think I'm allergic to cats. Every time I worked with a client that had cats, I always like got sick and my asthma and allergy sweat up really bad. I got an allergy test coming up, so no. Boyfriend wants to get a dog eventually, and I was like, no, because I'm not going to be stuck taking care of it. So, eh, none of that. So, yeah. <laughs> and that was 50 questions with newbie. You know what I'm saying? Got to know me a little bit. I will be doing some more of these if I can find some more, if you guys, you know, leave some comments down below and I get enough questions to answer, I will answer more questions. So, I will bring Melon Nation on the game, Melon Papa, Melon to take me the world, period. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Go ahead and explore my page. Go ahead and add me on other platforms that I underscore am underscore Nubian Customs 92. All right, China.